Hey guys, I'm Maggie Furlong. I love TV just as much as you do, but I actually get paid to watch it. I'm the showgirl. <laughs> FX's latest new drama is Justified. If you're a fan of badassness and Timothy Oliphant, and really, who isn't? Then it is a must watch. I sat down with Oliphant to get the scoop on the show, but instead we ended up chatting about his co-star Walton Goggins. Best known as Shane Vendrell from The Shield, Goggins is back in a big way on Justified. But will he be sticking around for a while? It's such a nice day when he's on the set. As far as I'm concerned, we'll keep him as, as long as he's willing to do it. That story is a really, really special story. So what other actors is Oliphant dying to have guest star on his new show? Here's what he told me. And I'm, I'm my friends from Deadwood have come on, which has been really quite lovely. I'll take anyone from the former Deadwood show. It was just m one fantastic actor after another. Rose Byrne. I'd like to have Rose Byrne from Damages. I felt like I got gypped out of being able to go back there. So I expect her to show up and return the favor. Minute to Win It is a super fun new game show where contestants compete in seemingly simple games for big cash prizes. The catch? The games are really not that simple. Host Guy Fieri stop by to give me the dish. I mean, we're not talking that you have to be able to lift this or run that. This is just, can you concentrate on bouncing, th you know, the ping pong ball on three dinner plates into a fishbowl? Something you do every day. Is the crowd getting to you? The lights getting to you? Is the money getting to you? Is the, is the, you know, are you managing your clock? If you just enjoy seeing people agonize over losing $125,000 and going back to 50, this could be your game. If you enjoy people with spiky blonde hair that are chefs that are wearing black clothes that look like Johnny Cash, this could be your game. If you have nothing to do on Sunday evenings, this could be your game. And then, after I let him beat me mercilessly at foosball, I asked him which of the show's challenges he would dominate. I, I am ping pong and challenged. I, I just didn't spend a lot of time with the ping pong ball. I spent a lot of time with the foosball foosinator. The games that involved the ping pong ball, I didn't, I didn't fare as well. I recently spent the day in Pine Valley, and it was every soap lover's dream. I mean, All My Children was totally my go-to soap when I played hooky as a kid. The show's new state-of-the-art set in LA is gorgeous, but the highlight of my day was chatting with Erica Kane, also known as the divine Susan Lucci. She even did a scene with me. Really, Greenlee, I just stopped by to see an old friend and you twisted into my going after your men? Oh, please, Erica, my father? You were so desperate to keep him from me, you wouldn't even tell him I was his daughter. You really need to learn to let things go. What about Ryan? I was barely dead and you jumped his bones. <sighs> I know, I know, I'm a total dork. But aren't you a little bit jealous? With all the things Erica's been through since her first appearance in 1970, countless marriages, divorces, a few kidnappings, a couple affairs, what does Miss Lucci think of the writing now? These writers are fantastic. You can expect fireworks and sparks and lots of fun. But is it Emmy worthy? Absolutely, in the hands of these writers, absolutely. I look forward to material that allows me as an actress to really um, get to that place where the material is important and the work is very satisfying. And if an Emmy nomination were to follow that, come along with that, I would be thrilled to death. Next week, scoop on season two of United States of Terra, fun with future food and more. In the meantime, get your TV fix at tv.aol.com. You can also follow me on Twitter and subscribe to the Showgirl podcast on iTunes. I'm Maggie Furlong, the Showgirl.